Hi, my name is John Chambers from Project Leadership Associates. I'm a solution architect in the Systems Integration Group. Today we're going to talk about some new features of Office 365. We're going to talk about Dell and Office 365 groups. Let me show you what Delve is in Office 365. Let's log in first. I have this persona, Dan Jump. Initially, it's gonna take me to a landing page and you'll see all the applications we have available to us in Office 365 and we're gonna select Delve. What Delve is, is a, at a high level, it basically gives you information that's pertinent to you and the people you interact with daily at work. So you can look and see like Ty Carlson worked on this document, food service guidelines. It may be of interest to you, so you can go ahead and you can go ahead and click it right from there. You don't have to go find it, it's right there for you to use. We'll go back into Delve and see what else is going on in our world. We see that we, we follow Jeff Hay, so we can go ahead and click Jeff and see what's up with Jeff gives us some information around Jeff. He's the chief information officer of my company. We're going to click on more information related to Jeff. So it's going to show us some information, people who work with Jeff on a regular basis, and then things that may be of interest to Jeff as well. And that is Delve in a nutshell. So how does all this information get gathered? So what Office 365 does is it uses this technology in the background called information graphs. And basically that's just going to look at things that you work on daily and it's going to keep a, a track of this information and then relate it to information that other people on your team or coworkers are working on and if it thinks it's of interest to you it's going to present it to you on your Delve screen. This information is all private it's not going to be shared with anyone else so it's a very secure environment up in Office 365. The other new feature that I like about Office 365 is the, 365 groups. And to manage that, you do that from your web browser and mail or your Outlook client. And I'm going to initially show you groups in the web browser. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a small group. We're going to create a group called social. And what this group's going to be is for people to have, you know, social activities outside of work. Just filling in some information and on the screen you can add a description what you can do for privacy is you can make it a public group so anyone inside of your organization can see this group or you can create it as private where then you control the membership of the group we're going to set this one as private and then we're going to go ahead and subscribe some members so that they get notified that they can be a member of this group so as it's creating in the background, it's going to do a couple different things. It's going to create a distribution list like you're traditionally used to in Office 365. And then it's also going to create a SharePoint site that will keep documents and data that are pertaining to this group. I'm going to go ahead and search for Karen because I know she likes to have fun outside of work and I'm going to add her to the group. Now what's going to happen is this is going to generate an email to Karen and she's going to be notified of this group. And now then when you look at this group screen we can start a conversation, view our files or use the calendar. With the calendar you can schedule group activities. Now the one difference I like about this versus a traditional distribution list is that it's going to keep the running history of all the messages sent to the group so that when you add a new member to the team or to the group, they'll be able to go back and see the history that's been sent to this group. So if you've got a project or something, they can see all the history without having to track it all down. Okay. Now the good thing is with groups and the new Office 2016 suite that came out, you get access to the groups from within your Outlook client. You'll notice that I just built the group online and it has already appeared in my Outlook client that I just opened. And we go ahead and click it and we'll see that 
the message is there, we can see the calendar, the files, which is going to go out to OneDrive. So in a nutshell, that's what an Office 365 group is. I think it's a very powerful tool. It's going to be very useful for the end users, and it's something that the end users can create and maintain on their own. Thank you for watching today. I'm John Chambers of Project Leadership Associates. I can be reached at jchambers at projectleadership.net or on Twitter at PLA John.